Hello and Namaste everyone. Good afternoon dear students. Welcome back. Today at this moment we are going to have a wonderful stay and I'm going to summarize unit 1 the LTC first lesson entitled with adventure section 1 jump. As you know that this lesson basically demonstrates what is the definition of adventure and why adventure is necessary and needy in our life. I you know that the dictionary defines adventure as excitement associated with danger and delighted moments and happy moments full of risks and full of hazards. All right. So, uh, as you have already known that the main focal person, the main hero of this lesson is Mr. Nick Alkmate and he was the rear gunner staying just behind of the fighter aircraft and at the meantime he was holding with his uh, parachute and he was the rear gunner by the tail, by the end of the aeroplane he was staying out there and actually this lesson is associated with 1944 Second World War time scenario and gloom judge. Basically, so when he was going uh, to drop the bomb in Germany, actually they had already dropped it out to dismantle and finish their enemy. And they were returning back towards their home country, Britain, England. And in the course of returning back, suddenly the main commander, the captain, shouted, Watch out, watch out, all the captains, be careful. We were caught in the fire. Jump out, jump out, let's jump out and save your life. As soon as the all the soldiers, riflemen, I realize. Mr. Nick Alkmate also heard that commandment and he suddenly stand up and he hurriedly and hurriedly managed to get down jumping from the fighter aeroplane and he had a very few limit of the time and uh, initially previously he was thinking that he won't get uh, that uh, you don't have to, you didn't have to uh, hold the heat parachute because it was everything you are going and so and smoothly. That's why he had kept away his parachute just far from his seat of the aeroplane, uh, aircraft fighter plane. Then suddenly he hastened off and research observe here and there to shirt seek his parasite but he could not find out at the meantime immediately then when till then when he found got noticed to view his parasite it had been already burned inside the fire by the fire which was erupted and created by the various explosive sails and the cannons and bombs propelled and experimented by the enemy's side. Then he did not have more time to decide each either the life or death. He was in the condition of do or die. Then he suddenly had to make a crucial decision then he jumped out away from the window of the aircraft and the total distance from the sky to land was 6000 meters from the sky and nearly uh, 5000 and half 5 and half kilometers you know so, 
The cold air hit him. It was now windy and freezing cold, and the air was also thin. And up to some moment, he still could feel. He had consciousness, and then he just went in unconsciousness. He could not realize what happened. Then after, then he. He was found when he got up, opened his eyes. He was found crystallized inside the bed of hospital, and previously he smashed and jumped, hit over the uh, sharp leaves of large fir tree, as well as snow bed. Then some. A ranger force, the commander force from Germany, his enemy shared his rival country and nation's police hide, rescued him and found at the time of severely injured and seriously injured. He was seriously collided by hitting and smashing with with stones and scratching over his throughout his body. That's right. Then the rival nation's army, the, uh, belonging to Germany, uh, because when he was jumping, that was a, a sudden and unexpected hostile meeting. He had to jump on the land of uh, enemy's uh, land. That's why he became dear as they were uh, regular patrolling, and they found that he is. Their enemy, and he was found laying uh, unconscious and severely injured on the land. That's why they hurriedly carried him, rescued and well treated, and healed his uh, major injuries and wounds by carrying him there inside their farmhouse. And when he that conscious opened his eyes. He simply wanted to explain the story of jumping from the sky to land. It was a tremendous, spectacular adventure of a story which nobody could believe uh, in a, a nominal way, in a simple, simple manner. That's why he was going to explain, but they could not believe him so much easily. And when they saw his name and number, uh, a small uh, plane, uh, you know, they found the crash plane and parked the parachute in which his name and his number was written. And they gave him, uh, you know, they, they compelled to believe and trust he was telling the truth. Mr. Nick Alchemy is one of the bold, courageous, and wonderful soldiers they had never met before. Although he was his enemy, they were highly influenced and impressed by his bold and courageous uh, activity. That's why they gave him a token of memento certificate, the current seal, to prove that he really had to jump five, five and a half kilometers without a parachute. That's why, dear students, viewers, ladies and gentlemen, sometimes we need to be more bold and courageous. We have to. Uh, think and follow the decision of uh, situation given by children by the situation and uh, we have to hear the voice of our brain which is very clever rather than uh, the sound of our heart and definitely it was an incredible incident taking place which can inspire us we need to uh, uh, I'll ever get ready to face the new challenge as for the, you know, that's for given by the situation, time and conditions. So that was the short summary of the first lesson you need to on LTC Standard 7 Adventure entitled, subtitle with Jump. So thank you so much for hearing till this moment. Keep in touch. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Namaste.